So this is a demonstration of the anterior compartment muscles seen from the posterior lateral aspect of a prone cadaver. This is the left leg. So we will see the muscles of the anterior compartment from back to front. So let's take a look at this first muscle that we see here. This is the fibularis tertius. This gets inserted onto the base of the fifth metatarsal and it's recognized by its unique tendon. You can see the tendon is splayed out. This is the fibularis tertius. This is weak everter of the foot, but it belongs to the anterior compartment. Closely associated with the fibularis tertius is this muscle here. And we have picked it up and we have removed all the fascia. This is the extensor digitorum longus and we can see the tendons are going to the individual toes. It is closely associated with the fibularis tertius at the point of origin and after that it separates out. This is the extensor digitorum longus. The next muscle that we see here is this one. This is the extensor hallucis longus. And further medially, we have this big tendon here. This is the tibialis anterior. The tibialis anterior is the largest tendon. All of these are muscles of the anterior compartment and they were all running under the extensor retinaculum and we can see remnants of the extensor retinaculum here. We have removed it. And the extensor retinaculum was giving septae and it was converting each of these into small passages. And the tendons were passing through those small passages covered by their synovial sheath. So these are the muscles that we can see. Now let's take a look at the neurovascular structures. So let's start more proximally. I have picked up this nerve here. This is the deep fibular nerve. And we can see the deep fibular nerve is coming from here. When we give traction on this, it moves here. So this is the common fibular nerve which divided into superficial fibular and the deep fibular. And the deep fibular then pierced the intermuscular septum and came to the anterior compartment. The deep fibular nerve is accompanied by this vessel here. This is the anterior tibial artery and its venae comitantes. So therefore, this is the neurovascular structure. The neurovascular structure we can be traced further anteriorly and we can see as it moves down, it runs between extensor hallucis longus and the tibialis anterior. This is the neurovascular structure. And as it moves further down, it runs lateral to the extensor hallucis longus tendon and it continues under the extensor retinaculum and it then goes to the dorsum of the foot. The artery also runs down and after the extensor retinaculum it becomes known as the dorsalis pedis artery. So this is the course. The defibular nerve can get entrapped here under the extensor retinaculum in the condition known as ski boot syndrome. Having mentioned that, let us trace the muscles supplied by this defibular nerve. For that, we will again retract these tendons and we can see a muscle underneath. These are the muscles on the dorsum of the foot and they are located under the extensor digitorum longus. These are the extensor digitorum brevis tendons and we can see the rest of the muscle here. So the extensor digitorum brevis also gives multiple tendons and they all get inserted onto the undersurface of the longus tendon and they merge with the dorsal expansion of the digits. And further medially, which we cannot see in this position, will be the extensor hallucis brevis, which will also merge with the tendon of the extensor hallucis longus. So these are the two muscles which are located on the dorsum of the foot, and these two muscles are also supplied by the deep fibular nerve. And after the deep fibular nerve has supplied this, it supplies the skin of the first intermetatarsal space. So this is the full course of the nerve artery and the structures in the anterior compartment of the leg going on to the dorsum of the foot. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Dr. Sanjay Sanyal, signing out. Have a nice day.